Hello, my name is Tomas Ortega. I'm part of the team WFMG for Spring 2019. In this video, I'll be talking about the user story for display and distribution of data. The code for this user story in Jira is WFMG2. And the product owners for this project are Steven Lewis and Dr. Miguel Alonso. First, let's go to Jira and read the description of the user story. In Jira, we can see that the description says, as a public user, I must be able to select attributes from the data set and display the distribution of this data. The acceptance criteria for this user story is, must work with every set of attributes, the visualization must be of appropriate size, it must work with a large data set, and charts must be of high quality and ready to publish. We can see that the definition of done says, passes all regression tests, is integrated with the UI and passes all integration tests and must be able to show in the future demo. All right, so in the dashboard, if we scroll down, we can see that there's a part for the distributions. Right now, we are seeing the coupon distribution, but we could change it using this drop down menu. With the drop down menu, we could select any of these graphs to inspect. Uh, let's stay in the in the coupon distribution. So if you hover your mouse over any one of these bars, we can see that there is a percentage and there is the amount of trips with that coupon with that particular uh, amount of coupons. So if we take a look at two, so trips with two coupons, we can see that uh, they occur with a with forty nine. They occur 49% of the time. This with four occurs 24% of the time, and so on. Uh, we can see that it goes all the way to 11, um, but the percentages are are pretty uh, low. If we go to a third class distribution, we can see a, a pie chart with um, the different third classes. Right here, we can see the key of the map of the of the graph. Um, if we hover, we could see more details like how many uh, trips with that third class, how many how many passengers appear with that third class. Um, if we go to the state of departure distribution, we can see all the the states right here at the bottom in the x-axis and in the y-axis we have the the number of trips to that area. Well, from that area actually, since it's departure distribution. Here we can see also the, the percentages. So from Texas, we can see that we have 10.85% or 200,000 um, or 200,000 trips. Here we can see it all the way down to, to the different states. Uh, if we go to market share distribution, we can see the different airlines. Uh, here I used uh, I I merged two tables, one with a with a keys for for the names of each airline, and the other one having the the actual data. Uh, here we can also see the percentages, twenty two percent, fifteen percent, and so on. One thing that I wanted to mention uh, is that I only use a sample of the data. I didn't use the entire uh, data set for this. Uh, demonstration since it will take far too long to load into memory. For the final product I believe that it will make more sense to use the entire data since uh, the server will only have to load that data once and not every time that, that, that a user actually goes to see the data. So I just use this a sample to make things uh, run smoothly for, for the product demonstration. Other than that, uh, that's it for this user story. I hope you enjoy it, and uh, I see you in the next video.